All right. Abraham Lincoln was the man who freed the slaves, the president who freed the slaves. And he wrote the Emancipation Proclamation. And the slaves were given their freedom. And the slaves are the African-American community. And the African-American community has suffered great uh, downfall at the hands of drug prohibition for it worked a criminal, uh, especially among the African-American community, it worked a criminal um, underground that uh, basically... Um, deceptively uh, stole um, lives to addictions which he warned about um, when he said that prohibition will work great injury to temperance and temperance is the ability to have moderation in things and uh, it is a species of intemperance in itself a species of intemperance in itself it attempts to quell a man's appetite and from work, and it works legislation against on on things uh, that should not be made crimes. And so, when uh, when prohibition was introduced in the world of uh, molecular compounds, plant compounds, and uh, chemistry that affects the mind in uh, you know inebriating ways, these things were. Uh, we're all working to to eventually uh, cause people to move towards the underground, the criminal underground, to provide the trade for among adults, you know, to use these things. And uh, that is all right because Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson said that what are rightful liberties? Rightful liberties are unobstructed action. Rightful liberty, rightful liberties are is unobstructed action within the limits of everyone else's rightful liberties, the freedom to do as you want and as you wish and as you will towards as long as you're not affecting anyone else's rightful liberties, as long as uh, you don't poach on anyone's rightful liberties, as long as you don't violate anyone else's rights with your liberties. It's, he goes on to say that he does not add within limits of the law he says that rightful liberties are not within limits of the law. The law is often but the tyrant's will, and always so when it violates the rights of an individual, of the individual. And so it's uh, something, uh, prohibition has been, it's been a jaw-dropping offense in the American mind, in the American mind. And it prohibits in the American mind. It it has uh it has steered people to prohibit people from medicines, from pe from the most resourceful plant in the world, and uh, from the plant which provide which was the writing material for the documents that our country was uh was intending is intending on the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence. The Emancipation Proclamation, I'm pretty sure, were all written on um, hemp paper. So, and that was prohibited because of this uh, this fretful, fearful prohibition, which needs to be utterly done with, and move in with uh, education, uh, mindfulness, the uh, um, uh, education on temperance, you know, teaching people temperament, how to use the right temperament, uh, and moderation whenever it comes to plant and chemical substances, and, uh, and onward forward with the Freedom Brigade of, onward forward with the Freedom Brigade of the American people.